when I was a young warthog. <laughs> <laughs> I like your glasses. Helps me see better. Not when you drive them. No, I'd probably get a DUI or anything, things. But you can see the future. I, just, I can read. It's the problem is we go out to eat and I can't read the damn menu. Cause you so love I'm it. like a three year old and I gotta ask my wife what the hell they serve. All right best day ever. Welcome back to Travels with Tommy and Lori. You might remember this. Yep, video number two, uh, Waynesville, North Carolina. <laughs> and uh, it is such a beautiful day beautiful, out here. It's gorgeous. It's 41 degrees and raining. Yesterday was 74 and sunny. So uh, I didn't pack appropriately, per usual. <laughs> so I only brought like, you know, short sleeve stuff. It was 70 degrees here yesterday. Yeah. So I thought, you know, what if? Luckily, I have my trusty Texas Longhorn hoodie <laughs> in the car. So I had to do a wardrobe switch. So we're not going to hit all these places again because we already did it. But I did see a few other things on the, off of Main Street. I don't, we're Main Street Miller. Yeah. So it's down off of Miller. I seen something. So we're going to go check it out. So yep. it's just right back down the little street there. And uh, so far, parking's yep. parking's easy. So. We didn't have a problem parking last time, did we? No, we parked on Main Street. Yeah. About to drop the phone. Hold on. No, don't do that. But yeah, we parked on Main Street. Remember, we tried to get the camera. Yeah, uh, that's right. And yeah. Then we, about the time it came around, some dude come up wanting to talk to us. <laughs> so. Waynesville has a uh, public camera, a webcam you can like watch the goings on right. downtown. Right. Yeah. Which tell you how bored we were. We watched <laughs> it for like three months every day. So. uh we're going to hit some of these shops and get out of the rain where we don't get completely soaked and uh, we will we'll show y'all around. Alright, we'll be back. These videos wouldn't be these videos. <laughs> without... <laughs> without... Yeah, that was <laughs> my lamentations. So, you know, some women, they look, they're beautiful when they cry. They're sexy when they get wet. You know, like, take a shower. No. I look like a drowned warthog, right? Tommy's like, oh, I got something I want to see. He doesn't even know where it's at. So we're just wandering around aimlessly out here in the rain, in the cold, cold, cold rain. So, yeah, fun times. I don't know. They've got decent public bathrooms. That's kind of nice. You don't see that a lot in downtown areas. So after wandering all the way down there, we parked over there. It was right here. So we got soaked for like nothing. Oh yeah, we got, we got it for something. So I guess we're gonna go in here and check it out. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a bookstore, camping, cast irons. Woohoo! Chocolate. Uh, readiness supply. Yay! Here we go. We got a cute little uh, display of stuff on the window. Oh. <laughs> Don't want that. Don't want it. Some walking sticks. They're cute. My dad makes better ones though. My dad makes some beautiful walking sticks. Oh, a solar oven. Holy cow. Woohoo! Okay, I'm going in. That's a lot of beans. There's 50 pounds of long grain rice. <laughs> <laughs> this place is so cool. Jasmine yeah. rice. Yeah, hey, we eat a lot of that.
found a rock shop. <laughs> and Tommy's like, we had to turn around. He's like, I'm not sure I'll remember where it's at. And I'm like, it's right there. It's the tan building with the red roof. Don't ever challenge me to find a rock shop. I may not remember how to get home from anywhere. My mind is like a steel trap when it comes to rock shops. <laughs> been in the market for a specimen for a while and I think I found a couple that I was interested in so I'm gonna look and see what I can find. Look at the colors of the sniper gray. Tommy says this is the coolest. And he is not wrong. Well, let's uh, wrap it up, Tommy. Let's take it. Let's get it. It's only four hundred and forty-nine dollars. I mean, and get two. Oh, why not? That sounds like a good purchase that, to me. I like that too. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, she's got. They've got some fantastic specimens in here. Magnesium. My personal um, favorite right now that I'm in the market for buying is Celestite. I've got one small piece and it's not really that great. And the Shivas. I've got one about that size, but I mean, I, I would happily have that. The copper. I thought that was cool too. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Though. It is. But I say I like kind of like you know I like the gold wire and the stuff. I like. Polished in there. Mm -hmm. It looks kind of like America. <laughs> kind of does. It's America. Meteorite? Yep. Or is that Moldavite? Meteorite, I can read. <laughs> you can read, Uncle Tommy? <laughs> Located in uh, Russia. Oh. February. We've got to go sort through them. Figure out what you got. Pink rose amethyst. Those are cool. You don't see those at a lot of places. We're going. We're just going right down the road, things around. Yeah. If I need to move along, that's right. Yeah. We're just going to head back to the house. That's that. We're in the same boat. Look at that. Funny this was thing. good. Good fun. Amazing. I found it. Turtle poop. No. This is the best day ever. So I found what I think is going to be the newest addition to my collection. Oh, my hair. But I haven't walked around out here yet. And there are rocks for days and days and days. And she was talking about another, she's talking about some kyanite, which I was, I'm in the market also for a pretty good specimen of that. But so let's see. But look at this. This is cool. Look at this tree. Look at what's around the tree. You got your adventuring. You got your sodalite. You got your amethyst. You got, 
pure everything. Oh, you got appetite. I have some of that. Uh, flabberterites, bloodstones, red agate, chevron amethyst, which is pretty cool. You don't see that a lot in a lot of stores. Amazonite. I mean, you got everything. Everything. Some beautiful tourmaline. tourmaline. So I'm going to look and see what I can see. Oh, look. See what I can see. These came from Diamond Hill Mine. If you guys remember, we went there back in July. And I've got a couple of these. Yeah. Where That's pretty hot cool. As hell. Yeah, Tommy yeah. made me quit. I remember where we had the great hot dog. Yeah. That yes, totally worth the trip. So that's kind of neat. I'll uh, post a link to Diamond Hill Mine. I'll be back. Again, let me reiterate. I don't have the visage of the normal women who look glorious when their hair's wet and slicked back. I got calyx. My calyx are coming out. It's raining. Other than the rocks, we can't find anything else to do because everything's closed because it's raining. So we're just driving around these little towns hoping that possibly we'll run up on something as this has happened in the past for us and we've lucked out got to see a train for a brief second brief but yeah we're just uh tooling around tooling away to the way we're going uh, to the little loo gibson town gibson town north carolina So I guess I need to look up things to do and see in Gibson Town, <laughs> North Carolina. That was the next one on my list. But let me say this about that. Somebody asked me the other day how we find the places that we go to. and We, we leave the house. <laughs> we leave the house. That's number one, most important. Number two, when we pick a place or we run up on a town. Well, there's my calyx. When we pick a town that we're going to go to I always go on a uh, trip advisor or um, what's the other one oh i can't remember anyway i go on the travel sites like that and see what's available attraction wise and then i also look at where to eat and i usually keep it to like the top 10 places to eat you know i mean we have gone off that you know gone further down the list and happened on some really great places so don't let that detract but read reviews i don't even think gibsonville has a sign that says welcome to gibsonville <laughs> <laughs> that's how today's shaping up oh uh, it's all right oh it's fine we're hanging out we're cool we'll figure something out. went to a great rock shop so i mean my work here's done as far as i'm concerned so just enjoy the ride there's a cemetery. Mm -hmm. We could do that. <laughs> no? Okay. Oh! oh yes! Yes! Maybe the older parts. This is almost as disappointing. <laughs> as sweet pickles. Hey, I pulled in here. I know. It wasn't your fault. You do love me. You do love me, Tommy. Oh, see? It's a newer cemetery. We're going to drive around towards the back side of it if we can. But it's got like these weird half roads that just like end. So we're going to... Or is this, was this the only entrance? I think there's one over there. The church. Hey, there's a Robinson. What? 
Mm. Uh. So anyway, onward. Jackpot. <laughs> So we pulled in around where the church is, which is really old and kind of gothic looking. So, and we found on the back side the old part, but looks like they might have excavated somebody. <laughs> See? What is going on? Yeah, this is more, this is more like it, but it even looks like there's still some new yeah, there's new mixed in there. Yeah, with the old. Hmm. Interesting. These people didn't even make it into the cemetery. They're just uh, on the side here. At the Packer. At the hey, it's a Miller. <laughs> Robinson's a Miller. Miller time. All right. We're gonna call today a bust because. No, I wouldn't well, say that. I mean, yeah, kind of because it's raining so hard right now. I mean, you can't, you can't do anything. So, hopefully tomorrow's better. It's, I think tomorrow's chance of rain's only 40%. So, instead of today, it's 100%. Yeah, it's 110, so, I think. May, <laughs> so, you know, it is what it is, it happens. What's wrong, Tom? It's just not fair. What is it? I carry you to all these damn rock shops and cemeteries, and you won't even let me go to the guns and ammo park. I said you could go. No, no. I no, did. No. I said you could go. I just said that we weren't going to put that in the vlog. Yeah, see? Interesting stuff. Rocks are interesting. Cemeteries are guns interesting. Love too. Well, I don't disagree with that. I like guns. You know what, you know what guns I like? These. That's right. <laughs> Honey. What? We'll go to the gun and ammo store. No, we're done past. Can't go back. Hey, now. you know what? You know what this is right here? It's called a steering wheel. Do you know what you can do with this steering wheel? You can turn around. No. I'm on a time schedule here. Well, when we come back through, if it's open, we'll stop. It ain't going to be open. I bet they close at 12.30. What time is it now, Tommy? 11.30. Do, do you need a napkin so I can wipe your tears? Are you sure? Look at there. Woo! Ooh. Holy crap, do you see the... <laughs> <laughs> that was sexy. Did you see that? Oh, that, was, that, was, that was sexy. I might, you might have to let me out. Let me go back. Mm -mm -mm. Walking shirtless. I bet he wasn't yesterday. <laughs> nipples would have been hard. Y'all, we got blue skies and some sun. Yay. Yay. So excited. Slick rock, I think. These are all the waterfalls and stuff and the trails around here. But look at this one, Devil's Courthouse. That sounds, it says it's intermediate, but that sounds uh, ominous. Huh. So it looks like you can drive from what, like we're here? Yeah. It's like you can drive. So it looking glass. It says, Go two miles off race point. Visitors can get a closer view of this. Oh, nice. I wish it was summer. <laughs> <laughs> it's so pretty. And this is just a little tiny part. I don't know if you can see it up there through the trees. Right there. Those are all waterfalls up there. So that'll be cool to explore. And here's Sliding Rock. 
I bet that water is freezing. But it sure is pretty. We got a family over there fishing. Back up the walk there on this side. It's a lot easier to do than Dick's Creek. Yeah, it's an eight foot deep. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if you can see it, but how green the water is coming down off there. So pretty. And not like a rampant green. Like a <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's slimy green in the water. You know? It's so pretty. They have a platform right there where you can come up and hang out or watch. Well, normally I'd be like, that goes without saying. However, I have fished two non swimmers out of a river before, and uh, you know, especially, and then in today's day and age, you kind of gotta, I guess. Give a disclaimer. Trout fishing. All right. Well, we were on our way to Bavard, North Carolina, and uh, we started seeing some size for Sliding rock. Sliding rock. Yeah. So we want to stop by and see what it is. This would be awesome in July. Yes. Uh, they do normally would have a lifeguard sitting over there. No lifeguard on duty. It's a 60 foot granite slide. Yep. It's got like three levels of difficulty to it. Yeah. But I like how you walk back up. Yeah. Ooh. Pretty cool. It's got an eight foot pool at the bottom. So you don't have to worry about getting hurt. Yeah. yeah. And then you just walk right back up the other side, come right back down. It's um, free. And it's free, yeah, it's pretty cool. But, uh, it's sunny. It, yeah, and it's sunny. We're going to take this hoodie off. <laughs> but there's another um, rock face up there. I think, up there. I think if we go down the road, we can get a better picture of that. Yeah. So we're going to head down the road and see. I mean, this is the type of stuff you just stumble on. Yep. We didn't look for it. We um, just saw the sign. We're like, what's that? And it would have been like 15 minutes, 20 minutes sooner. Apparently, there was a dude out here sliding down this thing. The water temperature year round is 55 degrees. But, Which would be nice on a 100 degree day. But considering it's probably, you know, a little cooler than what you'd want to be sliding down a rock. But, but he wasn't prepared. He had on blue jeans, no shirt, no shoes. So. I think that was one of those spur of the moment. I'm doing it. Yeah. I'm doing it. I'm here. We're here. Do it's it. happening. So uh, we're gonna go down the road and see if we can pick up this uh the rock face and yeah. check it out. Cool we'll place. See, we'll see you there. <laughs> this right here was worth the trip. Yeah, this is uh looking glass falls. I think it's a 60 foot, I think they said 60 foot unbroken waterfall. So it's a full cast face. That's amazing. Yeah. And look at the rock cliff right here. I know. Isn't that amazing? You see there's a wind blowing out there on the, that, the, all the mist. You can feel, it's an easy climb, but you can feel the mist. About uh, midway, yeah. you can feel the mist blowing off of it. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but you can see the mist blowing. It's pretty cool. I'll take getting drenched by this mist than rain any day. So worth it. That was the view from the front porch where we stayed. It was a private location, so yep. we didn't post any pictures of that. Yep. The storefront you just saw, that was the rock shop. It was Maggie Valley Rock and uh, 
trade and post, I think, but I'll put a description down. Yeah, that was a, that was a great shop. I'll put a link down shop. in the description. It was. They were very friendly, helpful, uh, very encouraging of the YouTube channel. So hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get some uh, people checking out her rock shop through our channel because it was a very nice shop. And to have them open this time of year is very rare. Yeah. There, there was so much to see there. There was no way that I could have put everything no. that they had to offer. No. We, we wasn't even really looking at the outside stuff because that's usually just, you really, it's usually just junk. But outside was just as good as the inside. So once we went outside, we were just blown away. Yeah. And then here's Sliding Rock. Um, totally worth going to see. Yeah. I would love to revisit that. I really would. Yeah, it's in between uh, Waynesville and Bavard. Uh, I don't remember the, the road that it is, but it you know they give you like two options: take the the back road, and you'll you'll see the the rock slide. That waterfall was amazing. Amazing. It was Pigs <laughs> Pisca Pisca National Forest. Yeah. So <clears throat> I guess go in that direction. Yeah, it's it was it's worth going down through there, especially. Um, we did a little research when we got back. The Blue Ridge Parkway is going to reopen up uh, April. April 1st yeah. is what they're shooting for. And the reason why they close it um, is, you know, the, the weather up there is, it, as you've seen, 72 one day, next day could be snowing three foot. So they close it down because it's sharp curves and everything. But when they reopen that, you that map that we've seen at the uh, Sliding Rock, you can get to them other places off of the parkway, so that would be awesome. But as beautiful as Sliding Rock was, that Looking Glass Falls, man. <laughs> yeah, that that was very unexpected. Um, yeah, usually I mean, when we go out to see waterfalls, we see. You can only you know, see them from a distance. Yeah, you don't really. You see could the literally difference. get right down to both of these. A little side note on that. What? It is the most photographed waterfall I in imagine. the state of North Carolina. I mean, look how photogenic it was. So out of all the 250 waterfalls, that is the most uh, visited and uh, photographed. Yeah, it was, it was beautiful. It was, that to me, made the majority of the trip. That was, that was, worth, yeah, I'm glad I picked the back road. I'm glad you did too. Yeah. Always, see, that's a lesson, too. Always pick the back roads if you get a chance. Yep, definitely, because that's where the stuff's going to be hidden at. Or you could find nothing. <laughs> or you could end up on a dirt road. That's true. <laughs> but, uh, furthermore, we did a um, review of the new KFC chicken sandwich. Yeah. Uh, no. Meh. I'm going to say no. Meh. Mine was like a pancake flat. His was. They were very inconsistent. Hers had some meat on it, but mine had no flavor. No, it, it there was, was not no flavor the KFC to it at all. Kick that you you want. Uh, it wasn't crunchy. I had two pickles on it. It it was not. Fries were good though. Fries were cold. And they weren't. Yeah, but they were good. <laughs> and that's my point. Because even for being cold fries, they were still okay. They they had they had a nice flavor yeah. to them and stuff. So I imagine if they were hot. Yeah, it might be they were better. fresh. They would be really good, but at least the pickles weren't sweet. Yeah, no, exactly. You know, we so wanted there was to give that. It, I wanted to give it a shot because I, I seen that they had their new chicken sandwich. And sandwich. also, literally nothing else was open. Yeah, that's we went into that's the part of it. We too. went into <laughs> <laughs> the rock shop was located in Maggie Valley, and that was one of the only places that was open. Apparently, Maggie Valley closes down for the season, yep. plus the rain yep. and everything. Hotels, so. everything. They all close down for the season. Yeah. So, they all open up April, May. Everything will be open up and booming. Well, probably into March. Yeah, probably. Yeah. But anyway, that's it for this episode. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when we upload new videos. Till next time. Bye-bye. Stay, Stay spicy. spicy. <laughs>